Uncle Keelan. Today we're going to be trying to get the ancient pets from the season 5 eggs, Uncle Keelan. So there actually is a little bit of a difference with these eggs. In the previous season mining pest eggs, there's usually been one secret pet and one ancient pet. However, in these specific ones, there's actually two secret pets. Apparently there is a soul heart, which I believe is the more common one, and the fallen angel, which I believe is the rarer one, and also an ancient pet, which is the almighty pumpkin. I'm mostly just going to try and get one of the almighty pumpkins, which should, in theory, also give me, like, maybe a shiny version of each of the secrets. At least that's the goal. And also, I think, like, I, I don't know why they just kind of stopped doing them, but, um... They don't really seem to do the crates anymore. I think they only did crates for season two. As you can see, I have almost a thousand of them just saved up, kind of for no reason. So, uh, yeah, it's kind of unfortunate because they, they kind of like seem to have stopped doing crates. I actually don't remember when the last crate was introduced into the game, but they stopped it kind of like a few seasons ago, and I guess they're just never going to bring them back. But with that being said, okay, Let's just start getting into this, okay? And I should probably go ahead and equip some boost firsts. Okay, I'm only gonna put on like two hours of boost because any more and I think that's gonna be a little bit of a waste. So we should be able to get it within like two hours. If not, we can always put some more on, okay? So with that being said, uh, let's get into it, okay, Len? So I think the last time I did this, when I actually got one of the ancient pests, I think it was like 20k robux so i'm hoping that i can do that again which i think was actually pretty lucky because i think trying to get an ancient pet from these eggs can cost like tens and tens of thousands like way more than what i spent like 20k on for the last time so hopefully we do that again though but let's get into it i guess i'll be back whenever we get something rare uh, uh <laughs> Uh, uh, let me just quickly scroll down. I don't know if, um, I press recording time, because usually when I'm opening a lot of eggs, I don't really like to record a lot. I like to watch videos in the background. We got it! <laughs> so the Almighty Pumpkin is actually the Ancient, and that is the only thing I have from this egg. So, also, I opened up all of the eggs from the one that I already had purchased, and then I purchased the season 5 mining pass one more time so yeah i've only opened I, I haven't even like finished it yet i've like done like what half ish g give or take a little bit okay so we've like practically done one and a half of the season 5 mining pass eggs and i've already gotten the ancient pet and i actually was curious about how rare this is so i actually went back to the wiki to check like okay how likely am i to get these so it turns out the most common secret pet is actually one in 2000. I'm, I'm assuming these odds are with like no boost whatsoever on, although I'm not really sure it doesn't say anything on the wiki, but I'm assuming that the soul heart is 1.2 is, is one in 2000. The fallen angel, which is the second secret, is one in 10,000. And the almighty pumpkin, the angel that we just got, is one in 13,300. So yeah, I'm also not really sure why the fallen angel is like practically on the same rarity as the ancient pet even though it's a secret pet but i mean hey we've got the ancient so i guess we'll still try and go for at least one of the normal secret versions okay okay with this last egg like literally the very last egg in the same mining pass that i also got the ancient pet from we actually got one of the secret pets and i don't think it's gonna pop up in chat because it was the more common secret and usually like they're pretty common enough so like the chat doesn't show them but yeah we got the soul hearts now we just need the other one which i think is the fallen angel hmm very interesting so as you can see in the chat we get another ancient pet still don't have the uh, fallen angel i'm trying to scroll down and actually find that i have way too many pets okay so now i have two soul hearts which are meant to be like one in 2k and two almighty pumpkins which are meant to be like almost five times rarer no 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 like almost seven times rarer it's like 13.3k where the heck is the fallen angel man okay well my boost kind of ran out so i've actually been at this now for officially more than two hours i have got two almighty pumpkins and three soul hearts i'm still trying to get the other second secret lore that i don't have so by the time i actually get it we're most likely going to have enough to make a shiny soul heart. And if I'm really unlucky, we might be able to make a shiny almighty pumpkin. Which, again, I've got two of these. The rarities are, like, pretty similar. But also, I actually completely forgot about the index. So, let's go for the index. I'm guessing this probably shouldn't give me... Yeah, like, it's not going to give me a lot. Because trying to do the normal version of these is pretty easy. Since there's only 
one common and one legendary. So, uh, yeah. And also, actually, Hash, as you can see in the chat, a full odds shiny dark demon, which has, like, the same rarity, basically, as the secret I need. Okay, then, my next update. I have four soul hearts now, so I can make a shiny one, I guess. But where is the second secret that I don't have? Where is it? Oh my gosh, as you can see in the chat, we have got yet another freaking ancient. I just want the other thing, okay? And yet also we did get another soul heart as well, so now I can make a shiny and I have one extra. I just need that one last secret, man. So at this point, I might as well just keep going until I get another ancient so I can make at least a shiny almighty pumpkin, I guess. Oh my gosh. We finally got it, okay, the secret fallen angel, one in 10,000, and I actually got it in the same pass that I just got the ancient, so I mean, hey, kind of lucky, but because we're already this far in, you know, okay, let me quickly scroll down to actually show you, so now we have all of the secrets and three ancients, we might as well keep going at this point to try and get another of the ancients to make a shiny version. It just makes sense that we've gone this far forward, okay, there's no point just sitting here like, yeah, I got three. I might as well make a shiny one. Okay then, it's actually been a while since the last clip that you guys saw, but uh, yeah, as you can see in the chat, trying to get the last ancient pet kind of backfired on me, but kind of didn't. So, you know that one secret fallen angel pet that took me so long, I actually got three ancients before I got one of them? Well, basically the reverse thing has happened now. I got three fallen angels, and I'm still missing the last ancient pet. So, I mean, hey, I can now make a shiny fallen angel, but... I still gotta spend even more Robux trying to get the last four final ancient pets, okay, of these almighty pumpkins. And also, just a fun fact, I guess, I'm pretty sure now I've actually spent more Robux trying to get this last ancient pet that I need to make a shiny version of it than I have spent on the first three ancient pets I've gotten combined. So yeah, and also I've actually basically spend all of the robux i have on my account right now so i might have to go get some more okay then we're back as you can see in the chat we finally got the last ancient almighty pumpkin that i need now as you can probably tell by my gem count i have spent and bought a lot of a lot of season 5 mining passes honestly i don't really want to tell you how much i've bought it because I don't even really know, but I'll quickly like show you like a quick glimpse, but uh, if I scroll down, I can actually go ahead and make a shiny version now, and also, yeah, I now can like technically make one and a half shiny versions of the Fallen Angels, and uh, yeah, the Soul Hearts, uh, we got just a few of them, but also, I believe the tier 20 P version is the Overlord, so the Overlord, um, yeah, just count up all of these individual ones, minus the shiny, and then also plus one, and that's how many times I bought the Season 5 Manning Pass to try and get four of these Ancients. I, honestly, I think in total it's been like a little bit over like 50k Robux. I'm not happy with it. So if, if you're like asking, gonna ask like, is it worth getting the shiny Ancient Pets from the Season 5 Manning Pass or any future Manning Pass? Absolutely not. It's, it's because the first three... Took me, like, basically no time at all. I got very lucky, so I thought, I might as well go for the fourth and final one. And guess what? It was not a fun time at all. I have spent so much Robux trying to go for this last one. Anyway, let's go level them up and see how the stats look. We're back. I have leveled all of them up to level 20, and I also gave them power 3. Also, I decided I might as well level up the other pets you can actually get from the mining pass just for people that are curious so i guess we'll go over those first okay so the witch jackrabbit is the common that you can get its stats are obviously pretty bad but for like a beginner pet it doesn't seem too bad it's got a little bit of a candy corn multiplier and then for the dark demon the legendary that you can get which is the only legendary it's kind of weird how they have two secrets i'm gonna say that again i think i said it earlier but like i said it's taking me like over a day now to do this video but yeah, stat wise are pretty freaking insane for just a legendary. So this is actually definitely worth it, although obviously it's not gonna go on my team. Like, yeah, it's better than just the average Joe pet, but it's way too weak for me to use it. Okay, get them out of here. Anyway, next I guess we'll go over the tier 20s. So I've actually already gone over these in a previous video, but I guess because in this video we're mostly going over the mining pass, I might as well show you. So the Neon Elemental is the free-to-play version, which also stats are very good, like 93k mining power, like 9.5k candy corn, almost 5k speed, pretty darn good. The Overlord then is even better, 
113k mining power, 12.6k candy corn multiplayer, and almost 7k candy or uh, uh, speed even. Anyway, now onto the secrets, okay? Starting off with the soul hearts. Also, just gotta keep in mind, I'm really hoping that all of these are better than the Overlord. If they aren't, that's gonna be a yikes from me. Okay, this one is... Okay, the, the power is only slightly better, like 5k more power. Candy Cone, also like not that much better, like 500 more. But the speed, however, is a pretty big jump. That's a pretty big jump for speed. So, Soul Heart, uh, sure, it's the common secret. It's like 1 in 2,000. I'm actually pretty happy with that. Now for the Fallen Angel, the 1 in 10,000 secret pet. Not even an ancient, just a secret, okay? We got 142k power. Okay, I'll, I like that. 130k coin multiply, but let's be honest, coins are so irrelevant these days. I've got like trillions or quadrillions now. I've lost track, okay. Almost 17k candy corn and 8.5k almost speed. Okay, pretty good. And now the ancients. This better be like either over 200k or at least very close to 200k. Because also, this is by far like the most expensive pet you can really get, I guess, in this update. With, like, alone like eggs but I mean that's just time not really robux spent because it should theoretically be better than the lantern of wisp this secret pet actually isn't even better than the lantern of wisp you can get multiple free versions of the lantern of wisp by just going on an alt account trading over your really good candy con multiplier pets and grinding for another shiny one of these it's actually really easy to get these lantern of wisp pets fallen angel definitely was not worth the robux unfortunately okay almighty pumpkin okay Oh, actually, that candy corn multiplier is insane. That is actually, I think that just kind of makes it worth it just itself. But 181,000 mining power, 163,000 coin. I mean, candy corn is absolutely insane. It is like over 10,000 to like the next contender. But 26,800 candy corn multiplier and almost 10,000 speed. Comparing that to like the Lantern of Wisp, which was previously my best Halloween pet. It's pretty good. Was it worth, like, just for a random number of there, like 50,000 Robux? Absolutely not. Give me a full team of Lantern of Wisp, but I'm expecting not a lot of people to actually have this. So, in like a year's time, if this game is still alive, this will probably be worth a lot. Although, I probably won't be using it because we're going to have a lot stronger pets by then, but I guess I could try and use it to trade for some pets that I want to, but. I like this. Although we aren't done there, okay? I'm not going to spend all that Robux and not show off what they look like, okay? So let me quickly go ahead and unequip all of them but the secrets. And here is what the pets look like, okay, Lynn? So starting off with the easy one to get, the more common one, the Soul Heart, which is a Love Heart, which I believe has actually just been brought over from Bubblegum Simulator, although don't quote me on that. It seems like it would be something brought over from Bubblegum Simulator, but I did stop playing BGS after a while, but... I mean, it's a heart, it has some pretty cool effects, green hearts, and for some reason, black diamonds. I'm assuming in the normal form, it has pink hearts, and the diamonds are probably like a star yellow, I guess meant to be stars instead of just, right now, diamonds. Next up, which I gotta say, it's still pretty cool. Next up, the Fallen Angel, the rarest secret, and I gotta say, it is a little bit disappointing. It just feels like a more generic simulator pet, to be honest. I mean, it's just like a generic, like, demon slash fallen angel. And it has some cool effects of electricity and fire on it. But a little bit disappointing for, like, how rare it is. And also, learn the big boy, okay? The almighty pumpkin, which I gotta say, I do love it. Although, for one, it's a shame it doesn't have a face. Kind of like the other pumpkins that you can get from this specific egg. Which, I gotta say, this is probably gonna be like the new Dominus. So, if you have enough Robux to like buy one of them, these are probably gonna go up in value. Because I don't think these are gonna come back. But also, my biggest, I guess, complaints about this ancient pet is that it's by far the most sought after pet in the mining past season 5 eggs. Why doesn't it have any effects like the two more common pets is, is a little bit interesting i would have definitely loved to see some effects on it but it just doesn't have any but we aren't done there okay let me quickly go into my teams and equip my best halloween team and let's have a look see how good my power is right now so overall we have 1.4 million mining power which to be honest we're probably never going to really need anything more than that if i just quit the game right now come back in two years we probably won't have any blocks in the game that have more than this for health. 
probably. So I mean, definitely not going to need any more power for a while. And then for all the speed, we have almost 85,000 speed power or whatever you want to call it, like speed. I mean, that's pretty darn good. Like, yeah, you could, I like, I can already one shot the blocks with this power. So I could probably like get some pets that have a little bit more speed than these overlords. I definitely have some, but might not give me as much power. Although at like this level, no matter really what you do, if I like take away 10,000, it's like, you're probably just not really gonna be able to tell, or maybe it's the exact same, like, once you go over a certain level, so I'm pretty happy with this. I am not gonna complain, although, as you can see, we have way too many overlords. Way, way too many. 